Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Fogg and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the work that we have done so far in the field of soft robotics. Uh, if you have watched my previous video uh, in that we mainly discuss about the fundamentals, uh, our basic understanding of soft robotics, what it is and what kind of promising feature does it offer. Uh, you know, so a lot of basics are targeted there. But this video is mainly focused on our humble efforts that I am going to show you that we have done in the field of bio-inspired soft robotics. So before going to the main topic, I think it's quite important to once again discuss the field of soft robotics. So yeah, it is uh, of course the branch of robotics, but uh, unlike traditional robotics, it offers you some flexibility, some delicate interaction with humans or the environment, and it is mainly inspired by the nature. So. Uh, you know, especially the material that we use in the field of soft robotics, they are again soft, flexible, they are compliant and they can be easily banded or they can be of course stretchable. So due to these uh, flexibilities in the materials, uh, we can design some very soft, very you know, uh, fluffy type uh, robots which are very safe for humans to interact unlike the traditional robotics. So uh, you know a lot of things are there that the traditional robotics cannot do but soft robotics does offer that. However, uh, it's not uh, true to say that soft robotics will completely replace the traditional robotics. Uh, in my view, these two fields have to come closer and they have to complement each other and together they can solve the bigger problems. So frankly speaking, there are a lot of applications where soft robotics cannot perform well and in the same way traditional robotics can perform quite better uh, as compared to such applications. So uh, let's jump to the uh, presentation, uh, especially this first slide that shows you the all the you know required skills of soft robotics. Uh, so right from the control to the fabrication, there are a lot of steps and of course many skills that are needed. Soft robotics, it is an interdisciplinary field which requires good skills in the field of materials. Of course, you need to mimic the bio biological aspect of the nature. So you should know something about biology as well, chemistry, you know, electronics, flexible electronics, control, mathematical modeling, simulation. Of course, flexible sensors. So, you know, it requires a bunch of people coming from different fields to work on a single problem that is to design soft robot or soft resilient robot uh, which is safe to interact. Um, so, that is the reason that you have to simultaneously work on many fields all together. And uh, you know, as the slide shows you, that FDM, which is quite uh, common or uh, commonly used 3D printing techn technology, and then we have you know the SLA that is uh, stereolithography, mathematical modeling, FSI simulation. So you need to uh, use some software like Comsol, ANSYS, or some part of SolidWorks. And real-time tracking in the coming slides, I'm going to show you that how we utilize that tr tracking tool actually. And of course, shape memory polymer, shape memory alloy, polyjet printing, and vortex analysis. And this was our main target. That was to design a completely soft bio-inspired bio frog robot. And in the beginning, we called it as exploratory frog soft robot. And uh, we gave it an acronym that is EXPO. So our target was to add printed sensors so that it should you know get feedback from its uh, sensing devices and it can help it to be more uh, you know autonomous and of course the embodied uh, electronics or embedded electronics should be there. The eyes means vision sensors should be added and uh, you know fly trap self healing uh, feature. So these all things should be incorporated this was our concept note but of course we could not work on each and every aspect of that project uh, so mainly our target was to create a setup which can enable the frog robot 
to swim and uh, you know then compare the performance of our frog robot with the natural one and uh, you know the target was also to mimic the swimming pattern of a frog so uh, in that we named it as xbox shape memory alloy was used design conformal printing uh, i'm gonna make a separate video on shape memory alloy very soon so uh, this was our initial design with which we uh, made the back limbs uh, functional or uh, you know thermally responsive they were able to create motion however the rest of the body of a frog was completely inactive or passive you can say so we 3d printed the body of a frog robot and these you know back limbs they were 3d printed using the resin uh, so in these resins we use sms and uh, the insertion of these muscle wires uh, the concept of muscle wires is as you heat them they will start shrinking so that was our target and everything was manually done except the 3d printing so uh, that was the our initial design we can say so here you can see the motion of the pattern swimming pattern it was quite simple and this was done by our senior and uh, again it is printed by abs using fdm printing system and front limbs were not active that means we just 3d printed and there is no motion coming out of uh, front limbs and sms the muscle wires which were inserted in these you know limbs that was uh, mainly done using a manual process and overall a single material was used so lot of limitations were there and we thought that we need to extend that to a relatively accurate and uh, you know more closer model that can mimic the swimming pattern of a frog robot so then we went through the design optimization mathematical modeling you know coming with uh, better geometrical design and going through mathematical ma modeling if anyone is interested i am definitely going to discuss that but uh, you know uh, we have short time and if i start discussing that would be quite boring so i am uh, you know it's better to you know wrap it up so this is what we did uh, that is a tracking tool uh, that is freely available you can search it on internet and google uh, you can easily download that and the target was to take the real frog swimming video and then process it try to see that how every you know uh, point of uh, frog uh, every part of the body how it's moving how it's creating uh, what is the possible pattern of velocity speed uh, acceleration how much force it can generate during break or you know lift forces so these things uh, we try to analyze in all dimensions and there is one limitation of this tool because it it can only process the two dimensions because this is a 2d video actually so in order to create more uh, comprehensive analysis you have to have a three dimensional view of a frog swimming so this is a natural frog and we used tracker we highlighted the head of a frog the limbs flippers so everything was monitored and then using that data we also came up with the mathematical model and you we use that mathematical model to simulate uh, more dynamic simulation of a frog uh, that was again a 2d video and you can see in this uh, simulation that it is synchronous swimming synchronous means when frog swims in a straight direction however asynchronous means it can swim in either the direction like